Hey guys, it's Iron Teenager. Welcome to the next installment of Iron Man. I'm going to teach you how to create a very good Iron Man. I'm going to give you some great lessons. I'm going to teach you the best money-making tips. I just have to get off to Toil Island first. Let me do that, and then I will show you what to do. Alright, so as you can see, there's new two, uh, there's a two new NPCs. One's uh, an Adam, and one is uh, Paul. You can tell that Adam is being referred to as the Adam and Eve story. And Paul is being referred to as Paul. Like, he should have been Steve, so it should have been Adam and Steve, like a gay couple, but it doesn't really matter. So, you go say, tell me about Iron Man, whatever, blah, 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 blah. Uh, okay, good. You go armor. You go the interface. You can change my Iron Man. And uh, you click Iron Man, and uh, and then I uh, I get you got a magic constructor, and then you gotta go down here, open file menu, and then you gotta go here. It's good. He's gonna give you some runes, and I guess you're gonna run all the way outside and go around the map before you actually attack the chicken. But you know there you go. All right, now we're gonna go to the mainland, and here is where we start the great tri the uh, great tricks and chit. Wow, I can't talk. The great tips and tricks. Okay, so now that we are an Iron Man, you get your iron from these guys, or you get your uh, you get your little, you know, your your special armor from these guys. But there's a secret tip that not many people have realized on release day. There's actually this guy here. It's an NPC. It's called uh, Jeff. So we're gonna trade Jeff. Okay, and Jeff is going to. You actually can change your items out for better items. So. You're gonna go here and see. And we are going to get our full starter kit. Jeff is a little slow at uh, trading, but it doesn't really matter because Jeff is an NPC. So get that done. And it's a lot better to start off with all of these supplies. Because you can get your stats up a lot faster. Because you get your... These are just basic things. Everyone can get these. But you just get your stats up a lot faster, okay? So, I'm going to go start training on cows. And I'll be back in a few minutes. Okay, the number one thing about training in Moo Moo Fields is you have to keep your prayer flicks up. So, I suggest you get your quick, player, quick prayers up. I have Piety, Protect Item, and uh, Protect Melee, just in case. So, you go... So yeah, oh wow, oh crap, I accidentally got a hit, but that's because I guess I just missed the tick. So when he was about to hit there, you see, oh wow, rambunctious little cow. When he was about to hit there, you just put it up. You just keep flicking like that. It's really not that hard. And if you have a staff, you can actually get an extra tick in there, which that can be pretty deadly if you uh, if you time it right for all these little cows. So I, I've been training here for about 20 minutes, and I've managed to get about 44 mil so far. It's kind of like a rare drop, but it's fine. They also drop uh, Elite Clue Scrolls, too. I, I've yet to get one on screen, so I, I really can't show you that. But, I mean, you're going to have to take my word for it. So, And uh, I would say for about 45 minutes work, this isn't terrible. But, I mean, it can be improved. I, I, I will admit that. It can be improved, so... That's all you really have to do, and you're on your way to becoming number one Iron Man. So, thank you guys for watching, and if you guys need any tricks or tips or anything, never actually come to me, because I don't know what I'm talking about half the time. Alright, bye!